the spiritual community, Ariel managed to find a way to invite viewers into these spaces by bringing the space out of the basement and sharing the community with us. And so we are able to experience these spaces in our own unique way. Um, the next four artists I'm going to talk about in relation to one another because they're also exhibiting together as a group. Um, as the most direct of social documentary photographers in this exhibition, I would like to introduce the works of Blood Compton, Tom Pukuruto, Anthony Dimitrichek, and Damian Suarez. Blood's works to evoke genuine emotion from the viewer by depicting ordinary moments and monuments after they are often taken for granted. She captures scenes that happen in an instant without observing the subject's movements and depicting not only observation but appreciation for the simple joys in life. The nostalgic chauffeur are untitled. Um, any mother, any kid, any adult can, you know, reminisce back to the playground days. Um, she's able to, you know, bring us back into that reminiscence of nostalgia. We also have something comical, such as the duck hunt, where the target is obviously getting away, and uh, <laughs> this is an actual moment and something that she sees. And, like, take photographers like Celeste to really see like, the moments that are passing by that are actually happening at the moment, instead of you know, letting that escape. Tom Cucuruto, also similar to Celeste's work, captures moments that are happening in the moment. He he likes to see humans, actually what he says is that he likes to see how human, what makes humans, humans. Um, he doesn't, um, his interaction is a little bit limited, he doesn't go up to the, to go up to the subject so that he's able to capture them as they naturally are. Um, he likes to say just outside of the focus and capture them in a natural state, and in this way, he's able to create full stories through ordinary activities. <laughs> Creating numerous stories within one photograph from whatever it is that the cop is doing. <laughs> to even the guys that are huddled over, the workers that are huddled over in the corner right there. There's a full, pic there's a full story in just one photograph that he's taken by looking at the natural state of the society. Next, I would like to mention uh, Anthony Dominicek and Damien Suarez, who are in very much a contrast to the last and Tom's photographs, as they, are the most, they take the most direct approach to social photography. Um, as a little bit of a background, uh, Anthony is currently pursuing a master's degree at the School of Management and Labor Relations here at Rutgers. As evidenced by his photographs, his interest in labor relations go beyond the educational system. He went to Mason Gross School of the School of the Arts, graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in photography, and he has been able to clearly mesh these passions together. Um, what is great about Tony's work is that the is the compassion that is shown through the photographs. He gives a voice and a recognizable face to strangers. While most people worry about bills and getting an oil change, Tony gives recognition to the people that are struggling, fighting for a bit of freedom and equality. Uh, if you look at the past photograph, this is from a pro-immigration rights rally in Jersey City. Um, and this one is from a men's correctional facility at Peoria County. Uh, next, similar in photographic nature. Damien's photographs are about the interactions he has with the subjects. He has said, I'm very upfront with my photography. It is quite rare for me to make an image from behind the subject or with them unaware. They know and accept my presence. He is interested in what his subjects have to say, be it their movements or their words. His interactions bridge the barrier between the subject and the photographer, creating an interaction that can never be repeated, but will always be able to be ingrained. Um, this is a photograph from Germantown, uh, Pennsylvania. He doesn't, like, he, he'll just walk up to anybody, be able to interact with them, you know, creating a connection between people instead of leaving them as strangers. And through these means, Tony and Damien both are able to give us give us some other faces and someone you know, we typically will just walk past more or perhaps never even speak to. Um, as a world traveler, Damien 
As a rural traveler, Damon has the wonderful ability to, in to interact with anyone and clearly creates a level of comfort with anyone he meets. His subjects don't find the need to ha have to draw for a photograph or put on their...